The PCX150 starts out on a steel duplex frame that contributes to its 6 pound weight loss from the previous generation. It pushes the seat height up a bit to 30.1 inches off the ground and allows the rear suspension to be moved back for a longer stroke. Upgraded and stiffer tri-rate springs support the rear end and dampen the motion of the swing mount drive system, and the suspension gets a little more help from the light and 14-inch wheels that help reduce unsprung weight. A set of 31mm forks support the front on 2.42 inches of travel with 3.33 inches of travel from the dual rear shocks. Speaking of shocks, I'm a little shocked that Honda still clings to the rear drum brake. Come on guy, it's the 21st century, and lack of a rear disc in this day and age is almost as bad as Harley Davidson's lack of traction control. The 220mm front disc takes care of business by doing the bulk of the work with ABS backup for a bit of extra safety. Tire size also got buffed with 180 up front and 120 in back, up from 90 90 and 190, and those big hoops should improve handling even more. There are a number of considerable improvements on this ride, but the factory only tacked a single Benjamin onto the tally for its trouble. The base model PCX150 rolls for $3,699, and if you fancy the ABS feature new for 2019, you'll have to shuck out another three bills for the $3,999.